If you are a subscriber of our channel, then you already know Dobsonian telescopes are best for beginners. We've made a video about why Dobsonian telescopes are best. You can watch that video here. The Dobsonian telescopes are mainly known for their big aperture sizes. Compared to other types of telescopes, Dobsonian telescopes are relatively cheaper for the similar sized aperture. Recently, Celestron launched two new Dobsonian telescopes with its StarSense technology. Dobsonian plus the Celestron StarSense technology make these telescopes extremely beginner-friendly. The two telescopes launched by Celestron are in two aperture sizes. One has an 8-inch aperture and the other has a 10-inch aperture. Both of these telescopes are suitable for beginner to advanced levels of astronomers. Previously, there were five telescopes in the StarSense Explorer series. None of the telescopes out of these five were Dobsonian telescopes. The biggest aperture telescope out of the five telescopes was a 5 inches. Celestron decided to add larger aperture telescopes for viewing deep space objects in this series. So they launched 8 and 10 inch Dobsonian telescopes in the StarSense series. If you're wondering why did Celestron add Dobsonian telescopes instead of catadioptric telescopes or Newtonian reflector telescopes, only Celestron knows the real reason for this, but we tried to guess the reason. If you look at all the telescopes offered by Celestron, then you will notice that Celestron wasn't really offering any Dobsonian telescopes. They already offer other types of telescopes in the next star series, Astro Masters series, etc. So it was a good opportunity for them to offer the Dobsonian telescope with some great and more beginner-friendly features. If you look at other Dobsonian telescopes offered by other companies, none of those telescopes has a feature like StarSense, which makes a Dobsonian telescope super easy to use. So we think this was the reason for adding a Dobsonian telescope instead of other types of telescopes. Anyways, as a customer, it's good news for you, as you get two more options of a great telescope to choose from. Let's see the details of these two telescopes. One is optical tube assembly. The 8-inch telescope has a focal length of 1200 millimeters and a focal ratio of 5.9. The highest useful magnification is 480 times and the lowest useful magnification is 29 times. The total weight of the telescope is 43.4 pounds. The 10-inch telescope has a focal length of 1200 millimeters and a focal ratio of 4.7. The highest useful magnification is 600 times, and the lowest useful magnification is 36 times. The total weight of the telescope is 54.8 pounds. The optical tube assembly is made up of parabolic mirrors. The parabolic mirrors are superb and eliminate all the spherical aberrations. All the surfaces of these telescopes are coated with the Starbright XLT coatings. This coating ensures maximum throughput of light through the telescope. The optical tube is provided with a handle, which is very convenient to carry the telescope around. Also, it helps during the mounting and unmounting of the telescope. 2. The Dobsonian Mount The alt-azimuth Dobsonian mount is provided with a 6-inch diameter bearing. At the base of the mount, there is an altitude brake system. This brake system provides variable tensioning of altitude axis motion. Because of this, you get ultra smooth motion even when you have slight imbalances. The base also has an easy to grip carry handle. This makes carrying the telescope to various travel locations easier. Three Star Sense Explorer Smartphone Dock. This dock on the telescope is not just any smartphone holder on the telescope. It has a specially designed mirror that works together with the camera of your smartphone. It helps in gathering the data about the night sky to be used by the StarSense Explorer app. 4. StarSense Explorer app The main feature of the StarSense Explorer series is the StarSense Explorer app. You can use this app to locate any object in the night sky. The app uses a plate-solving method to detect where exactly your telescope is pointing in the sky. Usually, this technology is used by big observatory telescopes and orbiting satellites. You can download the app, but to activate the app, you need an activation code. Celestron sends you the activation code with the telescope when you buy the telescope. When you mount your phone on the dock and start the app, first it detects its location and where exactly the telescope is pointing. 
After that, the app provides you with a list of all the visible objects in your night sky. When you click on the object, the app will guide you with an arrow and show you where exactly that object is in your night sky. Then you have to move your telescope in that direction. When the pointer turns green, that means now you can see the object through the eyepiece. With the help of this app, you'll be able to locate planets, galaxies, nebula, and many other celestial objects. You can search for the object you want to look for in the app. You can read the information about the object in the app itself, or the app will read it for you. The app does not need any cell signal. This means that when you're stargazing in remote areas, you don't need to worry whether your smartphone has any signal or not. The app will still work. With these telescopes, you can see the planets, star clusters, nebula, and galaxies. The telescopes are also good for deep space observation. You can see many faint deep space objects with these telescopes. This is how combining a simple telescope with a smartphone can give a superb stargazing experience. All this is possible with technology, a technology that Celestron has brought for you to enjoy the night sky. We hope you learned everything about these two telescopes. If you did, then give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more such content.